crisp as red A S M R Hello there, this is Emma Hope you're well I made an order from Holland and Barrett and it's just arrived so I thought that we could open it together if that's okay Holland and Barrett if you don't know it it's all over the UK it's a health food store health shop selling vitamins and food stuff like that it's been around for as long as I can remember to be honest I've been shopping there for a long time and they often have sales on penny sales and that kind of thing and at the moment there is a buy one get one half price on everything so it's a good time to stock up on your essentials so it's around this time of year I order sunscreen so we're starting to get warmer over here And last year I tried one by Aubrey Organics but I found it really chalky and hard to apply so I did some research again for this year and decided on a new brand I believe it's an American brand but they sell it in Holland and Barrett over here, which is handy. But seeing as it was buy one, get one off price, I stayed on the website longer than I was expecting to and ordered a few extra things. And I'll show them to you in a moment. So, I've got some scissors here. Open this top bit. Okay, so I'll just take out the packing slip. It's sitting right at the top. It's well padded in here with this plastic 
toffee space filler thingamajiggy I always deflate these before I put them in the bin so let's do that now I pinch the corner like so with scissors squeeze out the air simple pleasures I also fold it before it goes in the bin for some reason. There we are. Okay. So Firstly we have one of the sun blocks very thoughtfully wrapped here. I suppose they have to be really careful because with things like this in the post they could burst and you'd end up with a box full of sunscreen which isn't very good. I'm sure they've had that before which is why they do these things. I like to um, keep the bubble wrap in case I can use it again sometime. Okay, so this one is it's Jason, which I thought was a really funny name, but apparently. Jason is a meaningful word. Now let me remember what they said. Hmm, can't remember now. I did read about the company and why they called it Jason. Maybe you could remind me in the comments if you know. So this is the kids' sunscreen. 45 factor board spectrum SPF 45 um, no parabens SLS petrol atom artificial colours or phthalates phthalates um, uses helps prevent sunburn good if used as directed with other sun protection method, me measures, methods or measures, I can't read today, decreases the risk of skin cancer and early skin aging caused by the sun. Good stuff. And it's got the Leaping Bunny logo there, which is good news. Let's have a look at it. They usually have these protectors on, don't they? So I thought I'd check that first. There we are. It smells nice. It actually smells like sun cream. Which is um, good, obviously. But I'm quite surprised because those chemically sun creams really um, have that specific sun cream smell and I thought that this would be different but then actually if I was to smell this against a chemical sun cream I would definitely tell the difference 
I'm just used to smelling natural things. It's um, quite orangey as well, which is nice. Oh, it's um, coconut. And it spreads really well, and there's no white. I'm really impressed with that. Because sometimes they come out in a big lump, and then you have to spread them across your skin. And they leave a white film. And this one doesn't do any of those things. It's really nice. I'm really happy with that one. It smells good too. I actually like the sun cream smell because it smells of holidays. It's really nice. But the non-chemical one is far, far better. Of course. Bit of lid tapping there. So that's um, a high SPF as well, which is great. And because it's a high SPF, I would expect it to be thicker as well, so I'm even more impressed there. And the next one... ...is the facial sunscreen which has an SPF of 20. I'll see how I go with this, but I would be inclined to use the SPF 45 as well on my face. I just assumed it would be thicker and I wouldn't want to wear it on my face and I wear a hat and sunglasses and all of that. I never sit out in the sun with my face uncovered anyway. So... Facial sunscreen, hypoallergenic, non <laughs> comedogenic and oil free. Uses. Helps prevent sunburn if used as directed with other sun protection measures. Decreases the risk of skin cancer and early skin aging caused by the sun. And the leaping bunny logo again. That's good. Um, manufactured in New York. Product of USA. But I believe the company, I thought that it originated from um, California, but maybe not. Distributed by Kinetic and Limited in London. I know this company do lots of different uh, skin care products and they also make toothpastes and I believe shampoo and conditioner. So now I've seen that their sunscreen does what it says on the tin, so to speak. I shall be more open to trying out their other products. So, that again is quite nice and creamy, and it's thin. I read that this doesn't get in your eyes either, and sting. Because with facial sunscreens, even though you don't put them around your eye area when it's really hot, you're out, maybe on holiday, sunbathing or whatever. When you sweat, it can run into your eyes. And someone said, I think it was an Amazon review, who said that um, it doesn't sting your eyes. So 
So that is another good one. I'm glad I got those. And one of them was half price too, which is a bonus. Okay, so the things I didn't go online to buy originally, but did, I'm really excited to look at. And nail polishes. Mm. So, um, when I was looking for natural nail polish, I found Zoya, which has really great reviews. It's apparently very long lasting and doesn't include all of the nasty ingredients you read about. They have a massive range of colours. Admittedly, it's difficult to choose online, as it is with all colourful things, because they always, they all, I shouldn't say they always, but they often look different in real life. And straight away I can see that one of them I chose looks different. Not bad, let's see. So the reason I um, haven't bought a lot of soya, uh, soya, soya already is because it's pretty expensive. About, um, over here anyway, it's uh, about £11 for one, which is I think a lot because normally I would spend about 5 or £6 on a nail polish, but buy one get one half price, I thought that was okay. So these are the colours I chose. This one here is called Quinn. It is a maroony pinky red colour. I really like the shape of these bottles, I think they're really cute. And it smells okay as well, which is nice. Sometimes they can be really stinky, can't they? That's really nice. It's not too thick and not too thin. And the brush is quite small as well, which is handy. It's easier, I find, to paint with a smaller brush. Formaldehyde, toluene, dibutyl, phthalate and camphor-free formula. Distributed by Art of Beauty Systems Inc. Made in the USA. I wonder how much you can buy them for in the USA because our import tax is quite a bit, I'm sure. There are some natural nail companies here too, but those that I found are all about the same price. 
and this one had great reviews so of course it's cruelty free as well so there we are that's that one in Quinn and the next one is very similar to one uh, by Bourgeois I was using so I thought this would uh, be good to use instead and it's called Kate it's like a dusty pink And the next one is, um, so this is um, a dusty pink too, but it's lighter. And I thought this would be really nice for now, which is spring obviously. Um, it's quite natural looking. I love dusty colours. Apparently they're quite pigmented as well, so I shouldn't need too many coats. There we are. This one is called Mia, which is quite sweet. So, um, I have an SE colour, which I'm trying to replace. It's an orange. And online this colour looked exactly the same but I don't believe that it is <laughs> this is it's still really nice it's called Paz but this is a much much brighter orange than the one I've been using before so I'll keep trying and see if they have another orange but this is really nice anyway I love to wear orange nail polish and every time I do the comments uh, in, on the video mention the colour and where is it from it's nice kind of, it's a bit um, fluorescent Luminous. Hmm. Paz. I wonder if there are any stores in the UK that stock Zoya so I could go down and actually see the colours in person. That would be nice, I'm not sure though. They don't have them in stock in any Holland and Barrett I've seen. They just have them online. Or maybe if I win the lottery one day I could just buy all of them. They do um, a matte range and they also have some sparkly ones. I have a purple sparkly somewhere, I got that on sale, again whilst making an order for I think toothpaste. So there, but again the picture online looked different to the actual product when it arrived, even though it's really nice, it had huge uh, particles in it of sparkle, of glitter, rather than the very small particles it looked like on the picture. But there you go. It's 
called pixie dust. So, those are some new nail polishes and I shall get to wearing those soon. I do love a new nail polish. And this order is quite pinky. So I must have been having, been having a pinky day. When I place the order. And there we are. And again, I'm really impressed with this sun motion. I'll obviously try it out in the sun, but all the reviews said that it works really well in the sun and so my main concern was whether it was going to be thick and leave a white sheen and it doesn't do any of those things. So that's great. So there we go, an order from Holland and Barrett. Hope you enjoyed that. See you soon. Goodbye.